but I have noticed that it's getting a little warm more than expected constantly running is it's overheating yes you can also like the air that is So guys, welcome back to iFix Tech. So today I have this Lenovo ThinkPad D49. I've been using it for a while. Um, to be honest, it's one of the laptops that I do recommend. If you can get, like, if you want a budget laptop, uh, ThinkPad, it's always a good recommendation. Uh, this one is D490. I will recommend you to stay away from any consumer product from Lenovo, like IdeaPad, ThinkBook. They're not really good at all. But this enter price a uh, level yes it's a little more expensive but you will see the difference i'm sorry it's not gonna be a lot of editing on this video um but i will just gonna show you i've uh, been using it for a while i do love it but i've noticed that it's getting a little warm more than expected and also you hear the fan constantly running it's, it's overheating yes you can also like the air that is coming out of the laptop you you will say that it smell like a little hot i will i will i will say so i'm gonna do some troubleshooting on this one um if you can see also the temperature here is 48 celsius um if you play anything it will just go right up all right we're gonna go ahead and remove the screws from the back cover again uh the process we're doing right now is because this laptop is um overheating even you can feel it uh just have in mind that it's supposed to get warm like on you know like on a normal amount of heat that's normal when it gets too warm uh, too hot then is when you know that this is not good or not normal so what we're gonna do right now is just remove the screws okay once you remove the screws again it's not gonna be a lot of editing on this one um once you remove the screws you're gonna use this nice tool you're gonna from the corners of the laptop you're gonna use the hinges side you want to insert and create a little gap or separation and you will go ahead and I'm better doing than talking I'm pretty sure you already know that okay and you wanna root your tool through the edges of the cover make sure you don't break anything don't apply too much force if you have never opened your laptop before it, it might get more difficult and this is a think back but again okay, the process that i'm doing right now um i'm putting this little sticker here so you don't see my serial number Again, this process, yes, I'm doing it on a Lenovo Team Pack, but uh, process is kind of similar. I will say the same for any laptop. Let's say your laptop is overheating and you have never replaced the thermal piece and uh, clean up the fans. This process is pretty much the same for uh, any laptop. Of course, open it up, all that will be a little different, but process will be the same. Okay, once you open your computer i remember always safety first use your esd uh, protection and just disconnect your battery first thing you should be always do and this is the fan right here and under this fan is the processor and also graphic card you're gonna remove this Before lifting, disconnect it. This cable is really sensitive. This uh, small cable right here, the one for the uh, fan. Do not pull the cables. Make sure you uh, do it this way so avoid breaking the cables. And after that, you should be able to just lift the fan just like this. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean all this um all paste also the one on the processor and we're gonna do a new thermal paste and clean off the fan we're gonna take an isopropyl alcohol 
Uh, by the way, this is the Lenovo way. So uh, this is the way Lenovo recommend you to clean up all this stuff using isopropyl alcohol. And you're just going to clean the old thermal paste. Also front the EPU card. Well, no card, but you know what I mean. You know, remove this old one also front. The heat sink itself. Let's do it a better way. Again, I will say again, I'm not gonna do a lot of editing on this video. It's more like life. Okay, once it's clean, also remember this one too. You cannot clean it up. And you will wait until it dries up, which it's gonna be really fast because this alcohol uh, doesn't take really that long. Make sure it's clean. Let's clean it again. And this is something I'm gonna say uh, after I say it. I know I will expect a lot of you guys going against it. Um, it's all right. I mean, no problem with that. So, you know, many people say about the amount of paste that you should be using. Lenovo say like a PSI, which is pretty much a small amount of it. If you notice, this one had no thermal paste, this side here. There was a lot of going on also with Lenovo. People also saying that, yes, you should add paste here. So many others say, no, you shouldn't. But Lenovo itself, I'm certified tech by Lenovo. Around the years or from the year, they change the way they think about this. So you will say sometimes some model will come that they do uh, paste this one uh, along with the one next to it. Um, newer models, then you will see that they don't do it. This one is not that new. Newer Lenovo's coming with the whole thing. You will see paste here, paste also here. So if you do it, nothing, nothing wrong. If you don't do it, I guess nothing wrong because it was not nothing in here. But yeah, so I I fix. I mean daily, I will say from five to seven Lenovo team packs, and the newer models, yes, they are coming with this one also with paste so i'm just gonna do it i know you're gonna guys are gonna say it, a lot of bunch of stuff on the comment but i don't care this is my computer <laughs> remember also to clean the fan you can use a blower also make sure you clean the vents of the cover many people don't do this but a lot of dust gets stored in this area here and yes, now I can see some comments coming now <laughs> of you guys saying that uh, you shouldn't be doing this on top of the computer. Yes, you're right. So make sure you do this outside of uh, a place that you don't, <laughs> the dust that come, is coming out of this doesn't get on your board. That's, that's also true. Okay, is it time now to apply the thermal paste? Uh, remember the amount, it's not like a big amount, just like this is good. I also gonna apply it in here, um, no, you're gonna be saying don't do it i don't care okay now we're gonna reinstall the fan remember this is a process that you should be doing at least once in a while on your um on your own laptop okay so to put things back i know that you will notice that i'm not using electric screwdriver uh yes to put it back i don't like to um just to make sure i use the normal force if you're doing it if you notice i'm doing it like on a cross uh form on an x also they they have numbers they have the numbers on which order you, sh you should do it if you don't do it that way uh nothing wrong is gonna happen yeah i mean just make sure you connect the cable properly so you don't damage it time to connect the battery okay and let's turn this one on but before turning it on of, of course you want to uh, put the cover back remember this is a lenovo team pack t490 but this process is similar to pretty much any laptop make sure everything clicks properly and not only laptop you 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 have to do this also on your desktop 
you have to like from time to time once in a while you need to change that pace so everything works properly all right now remember to put those screws back Also, the way you put the screws on the cover, uh, yeah, you should also like form kind of an X, but there is no big deal. You can do it anywhere. Um, it should be fine. I know you, many of you guys will be criticizing me for whatever I'm doing now, but remember, there is no only way to do stuff. What I'm gonna do now is turn this one on and make sure, first of all, that at least it turns on that it works properly and let's see how that overheating problem is going on but before i would like to show you this this is a way that you can test uh to see if that overheating is because your fan is bad or something else is wrong like when the computer is booting off you can press f12 and on f12 on the options here you could do lenovo diagnostic uh, you will see that it will load first and after that you should be able to see many options for diagnostics um one of those options is for the fan we're gonna press f um yes or c for okay and the computer is gonna start doing a test on the fans it, it might take a few minutes you will see or hear the fan like going on and off and increasing or decreasing the um revolutions that way you can make sure that the problem is not your fan and it's being tested with let's let's wait until it until it's done and yeah it's all done it says my fan is good it passed the test now we're gonna go ahead and just go to windows and test everything also one recommendation i see many teams that complain about laptop overheating make sure of your environment uh, where do you put your computer never use anything like like a blanket a, a pillow under your computer and stuff like that that will um, stop the airflow of the computer also your room environment that's very important too if you think that your room temperature is too hot for you or maybe maybe it doesn't have to be too hot maybe if it just feel a little hot Believe me, for your laptop, your computer is going to be even hotter. Um, so make sure that your room temperature is also good. Um, if you don't believe me, I mean, why do you think that data servers are always running on AC? Because they can get really hot. And same thing with laptops and stuff. I mean, not at the same level, but uh, you, should, you should be able to be in a room that is not that hot. That also affects the temperature of your computer. All right, so so fast, so good. Computer has been performing well. Um, what tools you will need? Um, yeah, any screwdriver and and that black tool that you use to open it or opener. It has a black stick, has many names. Also, you could if you have an iFix kit, you will have any of the tools that you need thanks to iFix it. And again, uh, one of the main things that you have to have in consideration is environment also your desk as you can see your laptop if it's a laptop that you use it already comes with some uh, rubber or spacers between um, your computer and the surface so if you add anything else that prevent the uh, airflow that will affect your computer performance too so just have that in mind i really hope this video help you at least to know how to open up your computer and in case it's overheating you you know what to do um we're doing a lot of videos that are now uh four members so this one probably is gonna be one of them not really sure yet thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video